All right, I am at the park. And it looks like we got some nefarious action of ducks going on here. So I got my camera. You can get a little bit of both of them. Whoa! Hey, got a van. Nice! That's a nice van. Oh, see those sneaky ducks? They went behind the, the tree. But I'm going to get them. Yeah, I hope I'm fully extended yet. 300 mil. I don't have much battery left, but we'll see what I can capture. Little, little sneaky buggers. You know, sneaky. Oh, there we are. Where are you, little ducks? You just swim out where I can see you so I can snap a couple of shots at you. I think this action is going to happen pretty fast when it happens. See that? They're staying on you. They're completely staying on you. Oh, they're. Oh, we got a nice mallard there, too. They're waddling away quick. They're waddling. I wanted you guys in the water. You guys are very uncooperative today. Did a mallard get away? Nice when the sun hits their. Uh... But of course, they can't be cooperative. You guys suck. You're not very cooperative. Eh. The water's going down. At least uh, the culverts. You can see the culvert now. The remainder of the spring flood, that's what's bringing all the duck and the geese to the park. So, hey, I found a ball. But yeah, I wanted to get one of that, that nice mallard in the pond. The butterflies all over the place. Check it out. There's like three or four different types of butterflies that I've seen out. Yeah, land right in front of me so I can take a picture. You're not very cooperative either. You suck too. These animals just suck. That's the, that's the problem. They're uncooperative. Any ducks out there? I got like a million pictures of ducks, but they're they're uh, ducks, uh, geese, birds like that are usually really good uh, target practice for the camera, so to speak, because uh, they're usually cooperative enough. The ones around here have that definitely have some sort of attitude problem, as we can see. You know, they're just hanging out over there in the shade, not being photogenic. You know, so I got all these nice colors that really look good when they're in the sun. But no, I'm going to go stand in the shade so that you can't take a picture of it. Huh. Yeah, how do you like me now? That's what that duck's saying. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah, trust no duck. Uh, saw two hawks, three hawks, whatever they were. Juveniles. Uh, I don't, I didn't get a very good pictures of it, so... Operation Eagle Hunt is starting with ducks and the when the ducks are not cooperating I don't know how the eagles and the hawks are gonna cooperate, but whatever But however, we're gonna move over to my office here And there was a ton of geese here earlier today. I guess it's getting too warm for them in the field So they probably moved on this afternoon. I should br always bring your cameras charged up with you because When I was here earlier, there was probably 20 geese out there easy to take pictures of and about 30 ducks Easy to take pictures of, but now that I'm back with my camera, they've all kind of flew the coop. Yeah, who would knew, eh? Let's go have a look at the, uh, we'll have a look at the rink here. Still pretty big pile of snow there. I don't know if we can get into the rink. I drove around there earlier today, going around this. It's pretty soft everywhere, so it's like, I don't want to destroy the, the pavement on the road on the other side, but it's definitely went down, the water went down a lot today. Yeah, from yesterday it was up to the door, so it was definitely, yeah, now that I already got a soaker anyway, but let's have a look at the rink, I'll be able to get my skateboard out pretty soon. Another butterfly, and fly flies, and flying butterfly. Hey butterfly, yeah, he's semi-cooperative, not cooperative enough. So anyway, that's what we're looking at with the rink. Let's go see the mud lanes. That's going to be more fun. I can hear them from here. Trust me, I think the mud run this year will probably still have water in it from the spring. It'll take forever for that to dry out. But then again, sometimes it sinks in, uh, seeps in. Oh, somebody left a shovel out. Hockey nets have seen better. <laughs> somebody left a hockey stick out. Kids, eh? Somebody, some kid left their jacket out. Right now, if you're, this is the time of the year when you want to find all the lost pucks that got slap-shotted over the boards. Now's the time to find them. 
<laughs> That's how you get all your pucks for next year. Speaking of puck, <laughs> found one. Trisha. That's a pretty good pop fly to get that puck all the way over here, especially over the boards, you know what I mean? Like over the net. Well, I'll pick that on up on the way back because my pockets are already quite full. And uh, yeah, let's go have a look at the Danford Lake Mud Run Mud Leads. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody's going to try it, but you might not realize, but those mud lanes are already like, ten, you know, six feet deep, seven feet deep. Yeah. See how gushy the mud is. You never know, because you, you, like, I mean, I forget what they call the effect when it makes quicksand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got some, ah, there. Damn you, duck. Damn you, duck. A little pond there. Usually there's always kind of ducks and stuff sitting in there. So I guess it's going to have to be sneaky when it comes to the ducks. They're, they're out sneaking me, the stupid buggers. I hate it when dumb birds outsmart me. Anyway, but uh, yeah, beautiful day either way. Love being out with a camera. I guess I could do some vlog. Like I, I want to do my normal blogging for my other channel right now, but it's just like so nice out there. Uh, you guys have no idea how long of a winter it's been. Yes, I'll be complaining about how long the winter was until next winter, I swear to God. But anyway, yeah, I found a puck. I'm gonna go look for some more pucks, see if I can find some more pucks. Like how Canadian is that? They say if you plant one puck, you'll get about three by the end of the season if you have a good puck planting season. Yeah, something like that. Uh, you know, Canadian folklore, right? So, not like I just made it up or something. Don't worry, I'm not a sneaky as a duck. They would make it up. They would make something like that up. They would. I wouldn't put it past them at all. Anyway, uh, okay, yeah, so <laughs> out here, oh, battery's almost dead on this. Uh, this battery lasts a long time, but I haven't charged this camera up in a long, long time. Um, Got to grab that puck. Going to go over, make a blog. Then, uh, yeah, some birds. I'll sit there with the camera waiting for them, and I will wait. I will wait. But anyway, yeah, just fun photography, early spring. There we go. I'll just leave it at that. And there's the flooding of the rink. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Clean off my boots, all the mud. There we go. Clean the mud. There's a bunch of kids swimming in the, the road washout mud puddle up there. With all the mud coming off my boots. There we go. Oh, well. Okay, there we go.